What's up guys, Bob Busker here at Think Computers and we're gonna be showing you our initial power on, our initial startup of the Alienware Steam Machine. This is the first time we've turned it on. We don't know what to expect. Um, so if we're not really sure what we're doing, um, this again is the first time we've turned it on. We haven't watched any videos or anything about it. Um, so let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens here. So, turned on the system here and we do have our uh, steam controller I'll try to right here as you can see um, which I'll also turn on and it beeps when you turn it on All right, so it's asking us, I assume it's asking us to press that button, which I will press this button down. Okay, so it says, welcome to Steam. And it's asking us to go ahead and select our language here, which is English. And let's just note our, that our network is connected down there as well. Um, so we uh, have the ethernet connected. So we'll hit English here and we'll hit next. Um, and user license agreement, of course, we'll go down um, and hit agree. Oops. Okay, adjust the image to fit the display. We look pretty good, so we'll just go down to next. What is your current time zone? We're Eastern, so we're minus five. Next. And we should have a couple updates here. Uh, SteamOS has been updated recently, so we should have some a few updates coming through. But I assume once you turn it on, it will automatically update the device, so you don't have to go in, set everything up, and then it's gonna update itself again, I assume. And we are connected to the internet already, so you would probably have a prompt to connect to the internet if you wanted to do it wirelessly, but we're directly connected in. And so there's a new version of Steam available. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit download and install. And here is the update, which is going quite fast. If you, I don't know if you can hear that vibrating, but that's actually a Steam controller. Um, it's kind of vibrating, which is kind of weird. Um, so you can either join or log in. Of course, we do have a uh, Steam account. So we'll hit log in. Oops, our controller turned off for some reason. There we go. So we'll hit log in and put it in our account name here. Oh, cool. So it's actually kind of showing you how to use the controller here. Um, again, it's kind of be hard to see because we're in the dark over here. Um, we'll go over all of that uh, in a later time, but we'll go ahead and put in my Steam user. Oops. Hit the wrong buttons here. Put in my Steam username. Oh, wow. It's actually showing you how to use both, which is weird. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> this is really weird. Uh, getting used to these two... Uh, thumbsticks here. So let's try this again. And we'll hide our password, but we'll probably fast forward through this anyways. And we'll go ahead and log in. Steam guard code. Uh, good question. 
Okay, so you go have to go ahead and check your email for this, which I will go ahead and do. All right, so I've now I've got our Steam guard code. Um, what are we doing here? So, where are we going? go ahead and log in. This is just like if you activate Steam from a new device, um, you get that Steam code and all of that. Oops. Log in. And it's gonna go ahead and update our Steam information, update and Steam, yeah, information. Um, Steam subscriber agreement, we'll hit accept. Update Steam controller firmware. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. This is all doing this wirelessly. We don't have the controller plugged in. You can use the controller wirelessly or you can connect it. Uh, they do include a micro USB cable. That's what that's for. So you can actually con you know, plug it in if you want as well. You can hear the beep, and if you did hear the beep, it means since the Steam Controller firmware has been updated, we hit OK. And it looks like we're good to go. Now, we're going to give a full overview of everything that's in the, uh, you know, how this works and how the UI looks and all of that. Uh, we'll be doing an overview, but this is pretty much, uh, you know, you're pretty much good to go. I, I would say that took, what, maybe 10 minutes, maybe waiting for that email to come in from Steam. But besides that, uh, you're pretty much good to go, um, you know. You can go into that stuff and and see everything and you know um, see our library and and things like that. Um, again, we'll go into all of that in full detail. But this video was just to show you how easy it is to set up the Alienware Steam machine um, from first initial power on to entering your Steam credentials to getting it all set up. Extremely easy to use. Uh, we'll be having a lot of follow up videos using the Steam machine, so definitely stay tuned for that. Until next time, catch you guys later.